Hey, friends at home. I wanted to give an opportunity to show you all the different things that are going to be coming in your box for the month of April. And we got a lot of things going on in the classroom right now. We're doing reading time. We have Asian music going and it's beach week. <laughs> so if you hear a lot of commotion, that's what's going on. So I'm going to start pulling the things that are in your boxes and it's in no particular order because I'm just pull them out of the box as I go. Of course, you're going to have your calendar for the month. And as you can see, we've got a little overhang here because this is still March. So we're doing the rice pudding and then we have spring break. Coming down the rest of it is what our crafts and our cooking are, as well as some of our transition activities. Now you can see <laughs> there's a paper clip here and what you'll find be behind it is the different activities for transition that you will um, put into your passport. So be sure that you check behind there. We are looking at clothing sizing. We are looking at manners. And we're also looking at making a grocery list when you have a recipe, which is an incredibly important skill because we've been spoiled. Mrs. Lassard has been making our grocery list for us, but Mrs. Lassard won't always be there. So be sure to look at this pocket for your transition activities. The next packet that you'll see in there are some reading comprehension activities. And these were picked out because in April we have Earth Day. So there's a handout about Earth Day. There is a handout about the importance of recycling and how reusing things or recycling things really helps us have less of an impact on our planet. There's also a reading activity about solar energy, which is a renewable energy source that can make it so that we can move away from using fossil fuels, which are non-renewable and also cause a problem for our environment. So there's a packet about solar energy in there. You will also find your new Number Worlds workbook. And for most of you, this will be level E, unit two, and we'll be talking about addition. So check for your Number Worlds workbook. You will also find in your box a list of books at your particular level for um, the Erla and with the art. So you will find your name and your list of books and what is included in your box. When you bring your box back to us, be sure that you are including any books that you've already read. These are to borrow and we're keeping a checklist of what's coming back. So be sure to send back any books that you have already read. Uh, Mrs. Lassard also found a packet of origami paper and you can use this to make that crane that was in Epic or any other origami projects that you find that look like fun. There's also a wooden stick in here, a tongue depressor. And you can use this to push along your fold lines to make sure that they're nice and crisp. So that's what this origami paper is for. You will also find in your box a bag of uh, Cheerios. We're not giving you a snack, we're giving birds a snack. So you'll find Cheerios and chenille stems. 
you will be using these to create a very simple bird feeder. And this is what it looks like. So you thread those Cheerios onto the chenille stems and you make a chain that you can hang in a tree that the birds may enjoy. Could be squirrels too, but they're pretty cute. The other thing that you'll find in your box is this packet that is paper clipped up at the top. And this is a list of the different crafts that you will be doing with a shopping list. And also you will find the shopping list of groceries. So this is where Mrs. Lassard has done the work for you. But this month, I also want you to start thinking about how to make a shopping list from a recipe that you pick out. Also in this packet are the recipes that you will be doing. And they are in sheet protectors that have holes. So you can add these to your cookbooks that you have at home already. And there's also um, one of the craft activities is listed back there as well. So check through that packet of goodies to make sure that you have the supplies that you need if there's something you need to um, provide that doesn't come into the box. You will also find a canvas because we will be doing some more painting. This month, we are going to be doing a lilac uh, pathway that is absolutely beautiful and you're going to be able to create it and it will look amazing. And uh, Kate's family has provided an artist palette if you would like to use that for your uh, painting activity that's kind of fun. There are some paper plates in here. Some are foam and some are paper. And these will be used as part of uh, a craft that you're doing for Africa. Of course, we have our Africa packet, which is much like the other continents that you've seen. There's the activities that you need to complete as well as construction paper that you might need to complete the activity. So that's in a folder as well. To help you out with your Africa anchor chart, I have included some National Geographic magazines. And um, as parents, I'll leave it up to your discretion if you kind of want to look through these first and, and see if, if you're comfortable with what's in there as your student looks through for different things for the anchor chart. Uh, let's see. There are some pieces of yarn in here. Some of this is for a particular activity and some of it is just to have extra craft supplies there. So double check your list of uh, crafts before you start blowing through your, your yarn if you're using that. As part of our Africa unit this time, I'm also including an animal study. Everybody has a different animal that they're looking at. So this one is Zachary's. Zachary is gonna be studying a gorilla. And there's a few in this packet. A snake. Ooh, a meerkat. And a camel. So each of you will have a different animal, several animals that you'll be studying. And I think you'll really enjoy it. There's a little bit of research, but you also get to do um, some writing as well. There is a white crayon. And there is a bag of feathers, which some of this is for a craft but you probably have more than you need. Just keep a hold of them for your craft room. You will find uh, different uh, disposable cups. 
uh, for a craft that we have. One of them is a drum, I believe. And this one is for a very special lion craft that's gonna blow your mind. As always, we've included some toilet paper rolls that go with a craft as well. And a paper towel roll because you'll need one that's a little bit bigger. So what are these crafts? Hmm, check these out. Oh. Remember this. Look at that. Oh, is that so awesome? I love this. So this is an African mask. This particular craft really can't be done in one day because as you can see, it's three dimensional. See how the mouth and the nose and the eyes kind of stick out a little bit? There is a thing of Play-Doh, doesn't matter what color, in your box. You're gonna use this and press it into the different shapes that you want to put on the mask. That has to dry real hard before it's attached onto the mask or, or before you can do the next step on the mask. So plan to do this over a few days because there's painting, this has to dry. So there's a lot going on here. As you can see, this is where the two toilet paper rolls go. And then this body of the mask is the paper towel roll. So what an awesome craft, yay. So that's in there. Remember, gotta let that Play-Doh dry. And then, this one is pretty cool. Of course, we have lions in Africa. And this is what we're using this, this blue cup for. This one's a paper and it's used for hot beverages and such like that. So you do have this cup in your supplies and you should have googly eyes because we gave you a whole bunch before so mrs lassard really went above and beyond with all this gorgeous mane and here's a tongue and right now he has two teeth she's going to add a couple more teeth on there now this is where it gets fun look inside there why on earth is there a paper clip and look at this side. Why? Well, hopefully you can hear this. Can you hear the lion roar? All you have to do is pull this string with maybe a little bit of your fingernail and listen. So it's your fingernail on your pointer and you can make your lion roar. So that is everything that's in your box. Um, Mrs. Lassard also bought a little surprise that's in there that I'm not gonna reveal. And then there's a, a report from the school system. So that's everything. And I know April is gonna be short and we've packed it through ton with tons of stuff. Fun stuff, really cool, exciting stuff. So, I will see you in the virtual world. Bye-bye.